everyone and welcome to this AWS in Data Engineering video by Edureka. In today's data-driven world, organizations rely heavily on efficient data engineering to make informed decisions. AWS offers a suite of services that empower data engineers to build robust, scalable and efficient data pipelines. So in this video, we will explore the top AWS services utilized in data engineering, their specific use cases, and how they simplify the daily task of data engineers. But before we begin, please like, share and subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, if you are looking to advance your data engineering career, then check out Edureka's AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate Training. This course covers critical skills such as setting up schedulers, optimizing data processing and managing robust data pipelines. And you will get 30 hours of live instructor-led training and work on 5 plus real-world industry use cases and gain hands-on experience through 20 plus demos and capstone projects. Plus, the course includes assignments and knowledge checks to reinforce your learning and get you fully certification ready. Now, let's dive into the deployment and management services that streamline the process of deploying and managing applications in the cloud. So let's begin with the application services, which provide essential tools for building and scaling applications effectively. So first on the list, we have Amazon SQS, which stands for Simple Queue Service. Amazon SQS is a fully managed message queuing service that enable decoupling and scaling of microservices, distributed system and serverless applications. It allows you to transmit any volume of data without losing messages and without requiring other services to be always available. Next, we have Amazon Elastic Transcoder. Amazon Elastic Transcoder is a media transcoding service in the cloud. It is designed to be highly scalable, easy to use, and cost-effective way for developers and businesses to convert media files from their source format into versions that will play back on devices like smartphones, tablets, and PCs. And then we have Amazon SES which stands for Simple Email Service. Amazon SES is a cloud-based email sending service designed to help digital marketers and application developers send marketing notification and transactional emails. Next, Amazon AppStream. Amazon AppStream 2.0 is a fully managed application streaming service that allows you to centrally manage your desktop applications and securely deliver them to any computer. And then we have Amazon Cloud Search. Amazon Cloud Search is a managed service that makes it simple and cost-effective to set up, manage, and scale a search solution for your website or applications. Next, we have mobile services designed to enhance mobile application development and user engagement. So first on the list is Amazon Cognito. Amazon Cognito provides authentication, authorization, and user management for web and mobile apps. Your users can sign in directly with a username and password or through a third party like Facebook, Amazon or Google. Next, we have Amazon Mobile Analytics. Amazon Mobile Analytics helps you to collect, visualize and understand app usage data at scale. It provides insights into how users engage with your app, enabling data-driven decisions. And then we have Amazon ESNS, which stands for Simple Notification Service. So Amazon SNS is a fully managed messaging service for both application to application, which is A to A, and application to person, which is A to P communication. Moving forward, we have enterprise applications. Enterprise applications offer robust solutions for business productivity and collaboration. So first on the list, we have Amazon WorkDocs. Amazon WorkDocs is a secure and fully managed cloud-based content creation, storage, and collaboration service. It allows users to create, edit, and also share content seamlessly. And then we have Amazon Workspaces. Amazon Workspaces is a managed, secure desktop as a service solution. It allows you to provide virtual, cloud-based Microsoft Windows or Amazon Linux desktops for your users. Next, Amazon WorkMail. Amazon WorkMail is a secure, managed business email and calendar service with support for existing desktop and mobile email clients. Earlier, we touched on application services as part of deployment and management. 
which were services that support the operational side of running applications like messaging, transcoding and email delivery. Now in this section, when we say application services, we are shifting our focus on the tools and platforms used for actually building, running and scaling modern applications. So these are the core components developers and architects use directly in application development. Now let's dive into administration and security services that ensure our AWS environment remains secure and well managed. So first on the list, we have AWS Directory Service. AWS Directory Service provides multiple ways to use Microsoft Active Directory, that is AD, with other AWS services. It enables your directory aware workloads and AWS resources to use managed Active Directory in the AWS cloud. Next is AWS IAM which is Identity and Access Management. AWS IAM enables you to manage access to AWS services and resources securely. Using IAM, you can create and manage AWS users and groups and use permissions to allow and deny their access to AWS resources. Next, AWS Trusted Advisor. AWS Trusted Advisor is an online resource to help you reduce cost, increase performance and improve security by optimizing your AWS environment. Next, we have AWS Config. AWS Config provides a detailed view of the configuration of AWS resources in your AWS account. It enables you to assess, audit, and evaluate the configuration of your resources. Next is AWS Cloud Trial. AWS Cloud Trial records AWS API calls for your account and delivers log files to you. It provides visibility into your activity by recording actions taken on your account. Then we have Amazon CloudWatch. Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring and observability service built for DevOps engineers, developers, site reliability engineers, and IT managers. Following that, deployment and management services streamline the process of deploying and managing applications in the cloud. So first on the list, we have Amazon CloudFormation. Amazon CloudFormation gives developers and system administrators an easy way to create and manage a collection of related AWS resources, provisioning and updating them in an orderly and predictable fashion. Then we have AWS OpsWorks. AWS OpsWorks is a configuration management service that manages instances of Chief and Puppet. It helps you automate how servers are configured, deployed, and managed across your Amazon EC2 instances or on-premises compute environments. Next, AWS Code Deploy. AWS Code Deploy is a service that automates code deployment to any instance, including Amazon EC2 instances and instances running on-premises. Analytics services are up next. It enables us to process and analyze vast amount of data for insightful decision making. So first here on the list, we have Amazon Kinesis. Amazon Kinesis makes it easy to collect, process and analyze real-time streaming data so you can get timely insights and react quickly to new information. Next, AWS Data Pipeline. AWS Data Pipeline is a web service that helps you reliably process and move data between different AWS compute and storage services. Next, Amazon EMR, which is Elastic MapReduce. Amazon EMR is a cloud big data platform for processing massive amounts of data using open source tools such as Apache Spark, Hadoop, and Presto. Finally, let's explore the foundation services that form the backbone of AWS, supporting various computing, storage, databases and networking needs. So let's explore compute services that provide the backbone for running applications and processing workloads. So first we have Amazon EC2, which is Elastic Compute Cloud. Amazon EC2 provides scalable computing capacity in the AWS cloud. It allows you to run virtual servers and manage them as needed. Next, AWS Lambda. So AWS Lambda lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers. So you pay only for the compute time you consume. Next services are storage and content delivery. Storage and content delivery services are crucial for storing data securely and delivering content swiftly to users. So first on the list, we have Amazon CloudFront. 
Amazon CloudFront is a fast content delivery network service that securely delivers data, videos, applications, and APIs to customers globally with low latency. Next, Amazon Glacier. Amazon Glacier is a secure, durable, and low-cost cloud storage service for data archiving and long-term backup. Next, AWS Storage Gateway. AWS Storage Gateway is a hybrid cloud storage service that gives you on-premises access to virtually unlimited cloud storage. Next, Amazon Content Delivery. Amazon Content Delivery services enable efficient distribution of content to end user, ensuring high availability and performance. Next is Database. Database services offer scalable and reliable solutions for storing and retrieving structured and unstructured data. So on the list, we have Amazon DynamoDB. Amazon DynamoDB is a key value and document database that delivers single digit millisecond performance at any scale. Next, Amazon RDS, which is Relational Database Service. Amazon RDS makes it easy to set up, operate and scale a relational database in the cloud. Next is Amazon Redshift. Amazon Redshift is a fast, scalable data warehouse that makes it simple and cost effective to analyze all your data. Next, we have Amazon Elastic Cache. Amazon Elastic Cache adds caching layers on top of your databases to help improve the read times of your applications. Finally, networking services connect all the components ensuring seamless communication and data transfer across the AWS ecosystem. So first we have Amazon Route 53. Amazon Route 53 is a scalable and highly available domain name system web service. Next, Amazon VPC, which is Virtual Private Cloud. Amazon VPC lets you provision a logically isolated section of the AWS cloud where you can launch AWS resources in a virtual network. Next, AWS Direct Connect. AWS Direct Connect allows you to establish a dedicated network connection from your premises to AWS. Now that we have explored the various AWS services integral to data engineering, so let's examine how leading companies leverage these tools to drive innovation and efficiency. So AWS data engineering tools are integral to the operations of leading organizations across various industries. These services enable companies to process vast amount of data efficiently, derive actionable insights and maintain a competitive edge. BMW Group processes over 10 terabytes of data daily from its global vehicle fleet using AWS services like Amazon Kinesis, AWS Glue, and Amazon SageMaker. This infrastructure supports real-time analytics and powers features such as voice-activated in-car assistance. Next, Capital One utilizes AWS to transform data into insights through machine learning, allowing for rapid innovation and enhanced customer experiences. Then, iFood leverages AWS to accelerate development, reduce cost, and enhance its chat experience by building a virtual assistant using generative AI technologies. Next, Fujitsu selected AWS Lake Formation for its data orchestration needs, emphasizing data security and efficient access control in their data utilization platform. So these examples shows the versatility and robustness of AWS data engineering services in addressing complex real-time data challenges across various sectors. So there you have it, a complete walkthrough of a key AWS services used in data engineering from data ingestions to security. In real-world projects, you might ingest data using Kinesis, store it in S3, clean and transform it with Glue or EMR, and visualize it through quick sight, all orchestrated via step functions. At the same time, IAM and CloudWatch keep it secure and visible. That's the power of AWS in data engineering. So these tools empower data engineers to build scalable, efficient, and secure data pipelines. So if you enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it, and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. And do look up for more videos and playlists, and subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching, and happy learning.